All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna show you every component that we know in the front trunk frunk area of the NSX. So let's get started. So the goal is whenever you open up this front trunk area, you kind of know what's going on. So we're gonna start off right here. This is the latch to your hood, and we have two. We have one right here and another one right here. And it's important because whenever you close this hood, you gotta make sure you lock both of them down. All right, if you come over here, this is the horn. And to be honest with you, the first time I used it, I laughed because it sounds hilarious and it is almost useless, but this is the horn. All right, these brackets right here, if you've owned the first generation of the NSX, it's kind of similar. This is your radiator support bracket. You have your bolts and then you have kind of like your rubber bushing right here. And when you come around and this is the same thing right here, boom. Now, before we talk about the radiator, I wanna show you something right here, guys. This looks like this is the condenser for the AC right here in the front. And then this foam right here is designed to prevent air from coming up. This foam right here prevents that. And this is your radiator. Now, let's talk about the radiator real quick. All right, we have two fans right here. But if you notice right here, the motors of the fans, their harness, both of them connect to this box. So I'm assuming that this is the fan control module because on most cars, the fans are variable speeds. So the speed of the fan is gonna be adjusted by the computer. And I believe that this is part of that system. All right, let's go ahead and continue moving on. Now, the cool thing about the NSX is that a lot of stuff is exposed. If you look over here, this is the top of your shock. And it looks like this is the connection point where they adjust the dampening. And again, if I'm wrong about that, you guys let me know. And then we come over here. I don't know what this is. So we're not gonna talk about that. We have your headlight and your HID control modules right here. Now we're gonna skip over here. And if you look at this line right here, I'm assuming that this is the line for your AC system that controls to the condenser. If you don't, guys don't know how it works, AC system is essentially a heat transfer system. So what happens is that you need to remove the heat from the AC system and they're using the same concept as ram air as your radiator to cool down those gases and those liquids. All right, now if we look over here, if you follow along in how to become a car mechanic in five days, we talked about these type of boxes here. This could be fuses, could be a junction box. We pull it out and there's fuses, but a lot of people don't know that you have your diagram for your fuses right behind the box and this is standard. We have some additional fuses here and we have fuse puller right here. Then we're gonna put this back and make sure it clicks in. Boom, all right. As we move along, we're gonna go ahead and skip all the way over here. The nice thing about this is that there is a faded sign of a windshield washer fluid uh, icon there, but we have a sticker right here. So we know this is the windshield washer fluid. And then we have something over here which looks like another little junction box. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what it is. All right, looks like we have some relays. There's no diagram there, so it's just a little relay box. We don't know what that is too, but that's good to know. And then right here, this looks like this is gonna be your brake assembly. I could be wrong since this car is very intricate, but we have some type of maybe ABS system here because this looks like a pump. This looks like a little control unit and kind of integrated in there. And we see a bleeder screw and we see some lines here. So this could be an ABS unit and they could have it divided. I really don't know. So you guys uh, might have to tell me about this, but I'm pretty sure that this is a brake assembly here. Actually, I see the ABS unit right here. So right behind it, we have an ABS unit here. And I'm assuming that this is maybe a power assist brake system. And that's why whenever your battery dies, which happened to me recently, that's why you get all those stupid errors and codes is because it looks like it's a, an electronic brake pump brake assist, which is integrated within all the power and stuff like that. All right, we have what looks like our main master cylinder. And if we remove this, I'm assuming that this hose is coming from the main master cylinder down to here. So very intricate uh, braking system, but that's your master brake cylinder with the fluid in there. Here's your battery. We've had to remove that twice, so we know that. And then we're gonna come over here and it looks like we have another junction box. And then let's see if we could pop it off. Let's try to find out what it is. Looks like we have some fuses. Anytime we have fuses, what do we have, guys? We have a diagram, and we do, so that's good to know. 
I'm gonna put our fuse box back in. And then we move over here and we see an orange cable. And anytime you see an orange cable, that means high power, probably high amperage, deadly stuff, not good. So we know that this is gonna go to the EV system. I don't know what this module is here, but uh, you know, it could be to the EV system. It's very interesting. I mean, I'm really curious to find out what this is, guys. If you guys could tell me what that one is, I don't know what that is. Um, but when we look over here, right here we do have some ac lines because we have it looks like high side right there we have a high side port right here so somewhere around here they're probably going to be a low side but i do like that the the high side for the ac system is right here and then as we come along we're also going to show you that this is the air duct here if you look at this box assembly this is the actual air duct that connects right here to the opening as you see my 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 little straw could go in there so that's where the air comes through it's going to cool everything here and then you can't see the rack back here you can see the sway bar back here but um pretty much that's what i know from looking at the car now a couple of questions for you guys out there if you guys could tell me what this component is here that's running along with this orange cable i would appreciate that put that in the comments and if you guys know how the braking system work i think we should make a separate video about that because it looks a little intricate but guys we have looked at the front hopefully now you're a little bit more knowledgeable about your nsx and the components underneath the front hood